So the next thing I want you to do is create the page structure for your site because right now what we're looking at doesn't really help us when we build it. We want to have pages live and also in a menu so that we can click around and get to the right page and just edit it. Right now what we're showing is sort of the default WordPress blog layout. This is just a sample post that WordPress made for you with a sample comment, sample sidebar, sample you know archives. We didn't write anything in March 18. I don't know why it's March. It's June right now. In any case, this looks like a default blog. We want to get rid of it super quick. So let's do it, and we'll do it the right way, the way a web designer would. I actually used to be a web designer, by the way, sitting down in coffee shops and pitching websites to people and then telling them all sorts of stuff I would build for them that I had no clue how to build yet. So, of course, I eventually figured it out. And to get started with those pages, we're just going to come back to our dashboard and click Pages. And we're going to trash these demo pages. I think my cat is bashing the lamp with his paws to try to catch bugs. Interesting strategy. And now to add a new page to your website, just click Add New. All right, and the first page I want you to add is super redundant. We're just going to add a front page. And this will become your home page. All right, very cool. Now I'm going to show you some basic Ocean WP settings that we're going to apply to almost every page we make. It'll just make our life easier and basically just help you get rid of anything you don't want on your site. So those settings are right here in Ocean WP. And the first thing we're going to do is make the content layout full width. All right, so that'll allow your content to expand to the far left and far right of the screen and get rid of the white space over here. Then we're going to make your margins disabled, get rid of more unnecessary space that can just confuse us when we're trying to make things full width. Next, we're going to go to header and we're going to disable your top bar which is just this bar right here, just another WordPress site. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna enable the header. So we're gonna use the header from Elementor and that's where we're gonna put your logo and your nav menu. It's really helpful to do it this way. That way all of our pages have a header above them and we can make it transparent or sticky or do whatever we want with it. The alternative is custom Elementor headers that you make as a template and then you can assign them to different places. Um, and we're gonna do that with our footer. So you'll basically learn both methods and we'll see how that works. Header style, just leave it as default for now. Then we'll go to title and we're gonna get rid of the uh, page title. Cool. We're keeping it really clean and simple here, guys. And now we're just gonna publish the first page. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this process now for all the pages on our site and you can follow along with me. Although I might hurry it up a little bit just to get us to the building content part. So we click add new at the top. And we're going to do our about page. Pretty cool. Everyone needs one of those. Now let's get those Ocean WP settings out of the way. So content layout full width. Disable margins. We'll go to header. Disable the top bar. Enable the header and go to title and get rid of that page title. And we can publish it. All right, now add new. We're going to do this for our work page. So once again, content layout full width. Margins disabled. Header. Disable top bar, enable header, and title, disable the page title, and publish. So these are going to give us really clean layouts, just simple pages where we can put in all of our elementary content and still use some of the best features from Ocean WP at the same time. All right, so now that we've done a few pages, I'll race ahead and finish the rest of them for us. And those are going to be services, contact us, and we'll finish together with the blog page. So our last page is blog, and for this one, it's even more simple. All you need to do is just call it blog or whatever your blog is going to be named. Maybe you have your own name for it and then just publish it. So we're going to do something special now with the front page and the blog page. And that would be to go to settings, reading. And in WordPress, they give you the option to set up what your homepage shows and what your post page shows. And if you do this option, you have more control of your site. If you leave it as your latest post, then on the homepage, you just see a blog post and this blog stuff over here. So we want to get rid of that blog look, at least when someone first visits your site. And that's why in reading settings, we're going to click your homepage displays, not your latest post, but a static page. And that static page is just going to be our front page. And that way we can drag and drop content into the homepage and make it look however you want when someone first lands on your site. And then we're also going to make the post page the blog. So that moves all the posts, like this default post, over to your blog page, which will just be a totally different page. And now save those changes. All right, so once you do all that, you can refresh the site 
and you should see some pretty significant changes. So now we have a totally blank canvas to make a website on. Great. 